welcome to another fishing adventure. Uh, today we're doing a 24 hour session at Nightingale in Stone near Tenton. Lovely little place here, you've got fish up to I think 27, 28. Fair few uh, 20s in here so hopefully, um, got 24 hours to make it happen. So I'm hoping I'll be able to nip a, a bite or two. Maybe quite hot today so I'm hoping they're not going to start spawning. But we'll give it a go, see what happens. Turn the camera on. Okay. Just beginning to get the rods out. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get the rods out now. Um, get the camp set up, and I'll give you a bit more insight of what I'm using bait-wise and what rigs. But yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we make it happen. Right, just a little insight into what uh, bait I'm using on this 24 hour session. In there I've got some bug shelf life, uh, S7 shelf life, uh, whole body, chop body, mixed crumb, with some pellet, crayfish pellet, which is all soaked in some of the hydro spot syrup from DNA. <clears throat> and they're the baits I'm using at the moment. Um, I've got two rods out at the moment. Nothing as yet, but I've got a pop up on one. I've got a snowman on the other. But yeah, actually a quick insight to what um what bait I'm using. So yeah, it's all nicely mixed up. It smells beautiful. <clears throat> so yeah, the rig wise, I've got one on a one on a Ronnie rig and I've got one on a slip D, which I've got the uh, pop up on a Ronnie, and then I've got the um snowman on the uh slip D rig, so so far Nothing is yet, but plenty of time. So now all three rods are out. Um, yeah, it's been out for about an hour, an hour, but it's just over. Had a few bleeps, but there's been a few crashing about in the edges. So I've got a feeling they're going to start spawning. Um, if they're doing, I'll just pack up and go home. I want fish for them to spawn. But yeah, it's a lovely day. Absolutely lovely day. Quite warm. Um, I'm the only one on the lake at the moment. I do believe there's a few more people coming. There's nine pegs. Um, I'm on peg three. Which is a nice little, you know, little bay fish. Little bay to itself. Um, and I've got a rod just over on the corner over there. Zoom in. Got a rod just down by that marker there. I've got my middle rod, probably about a rod length off the island. And my other one is just off of them rushes there. So uh, hopefully, um, hopefully they don't spawn. I don't know if we get a few bites. We've had a couple of bleeps, whether that's the fish just knocking about. But I've got Ronnie Rig on that one, uh, Wafta on the middle one, and a snowman over there. Yeah, fingers crossed. I've got 24 hours to make it happen. Um, so I'll we'll set up now, let it go. Uh, the guy that owns the lake gym is a lovely guy. Uh, really is a lovely guy. He's put a lot of a lot of effort, a lot of work into the lake, and you always come down to the lake to chat with you. So yeah, um, so I'm the only one at the lake at the moment, so fingers crossed. We'll get a bit of action before a lot of people turn up and start putting lines in the water. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you posted, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Walk back a little bit, look up at me. Right, here we go, first one. Middle rod, over by the island. Oh, it's turning around. Bit of a lively one. 26 is one. You've done your knees, mate. 
Move back here. Keep recording, move back. Beautiful mirror, first one. 26.2, I think it weighed. Belly for the spawn. How about that, Stevie, eh? Mm. Jesus! Can I record it going back as well for me? Yes. How about that for a start? 26 pound, uh, 26 two, I think it was. Um, yeah, first fish of the year. So I'm well chuffed with that one. Uh, some guy turned up, so I popped over and chat with him just over there. I uh, had a single bleep, nothing happened. Uh, chat away to him, then another bleep bleep. He's come walking over and it tightened up, lifted into it. Bang. Didn't feel that big at first. So I just play with it for my bit small one small one brought it in closer than it got started fighting quite hard put up a bit of a scrap a bit of a knit one pole one ran the other lines but I managed to sort it out yeah and a nice 26 pound two mirror so uh look like it's full of spawn to be fair but, um yeah great start keep going yeah so that was, uh, that was my middle rod that one which is uh, about five length off the island um which was on a d rig um, yeah, the D rig with a uh, DNA PB wafter. Right, yeah, well, I'm just smell. I've been soaking in some intense booster, so yeah, smelled really good. <clears throat> Only been out about half hour, three quarters of an hour, and it went. So I'm well chuffed with that one, well chuffed. Um, so just now, just reset one of my rods, left hand rod, just been out and done that. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll get a few more. Um, but if not, I'm more than happy. You no, know, I wasn't expecting to catch a 20. Uh, it was my first fish of the year. Um, so yeah, absolutely well chuffed for that. So I'm just going to keep putting on, I'll put a little bit more bait out, not a lot of bait. So I know some guys fishing here last week, so I don't know how much I put in. So I'll just put a little bit of bait. Um, and just, yeah, keep on, see how we get on. Uh, yeah, I'll run you through a bit more rigs later. It's not, no, nothing too complicated, just a slip D rig. Uh, using a quarter boom, um, D rig kicker. So yeah, not much to it, it's pretty basic really. Um, <clears throat> don't like to complicate things, I don't have to. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys get another one and I'll uh, yeah, keep you posted. Very, very lively. Oh, you can get it back. Yeah, cut the phone. Okay. 
Alright, just a quick update. Um, cut up half past eight. We just had a screaming run on my left hand rod. And it was a 12, is it 12 pound CV? Yep. 12 pound grass carp. Um, absolute beat me middle rod up. Sort of inside, outside, all twisted and yeah, grass carp, they're crazy fish. But yeah, fish number two. So uh, it's going to the evening now. So fingers crossed we get, uh, get another one during night. Uh, so yeah, there was a few crashing about in the margins this morning. Um, so yeah, signs are definitely there to start spawning. So um, we give it a couple of hours. If they do start going at it hard, I'll pack up and go on. Um, as I said before, I won't fish for them all the time this morning. Um, but yeah, beautiful morning. Um, hopefully, I might get another one before we go. If not, we've had two fish. So uh, can't complain, it's been good. Yeah. I'll keep you posted in a bit. Guys, this is Nightingale in his morning glory. Beautiful, isn't it?
Lovely. Alright guys, it's about quarter past twenty past five now. Um and just had a quick walk around lakes and look look, there's about four or five groups of carp spawning. Um some over back there, a couple down by me. Yeah, I don't think you see quickly now. There you go, see. So um yeah I'm gonna pack up, I'm gonna leave them to it, I'm not gonna fish for them. Uh, so this has been my last last little clip. Um, unless I wonder if I do decide to go off, I don't doubt it. But yeah, they're, they're proper having it now, so I'm going to do a soap pack down and leave them to it. So um, yeah, if I don't see you no more guys, I've got another trip booked for um, July to Lake Sumba and Cryosha. So um, if you want to see how I get on that one, give us a like and subscribe. And uh Thanks for watching guys, see you soon. Man's <coughs> oh. another one packing up. <sighs> 16 pounds that one. Just packing up and it uh it went off so very last fish for me for 16 pounds very welcome. Lovely.